Today, for our Math Strategies video, we're going to be talking about relating decimals and fractions. We're going to be using a place value chart to help us understand the value of tenths and hundredths. We're going to be connecting these decimals to their fraction equivalent. Now remember, the word equivalent would mean equal. We worked with equivalent fractions, okay? Remember, equivalent fractions are fractions that equal each other, but maybe look a little bit different. So we're gonna be connecting decimals and fractions in the same way. They're gonna equal each other, but they may look a little bit different. So before we get started here, we're gonna use a place value chart to help us understand these decimals, okay? So for our first number that we're working with, is this number right here. And it may look a little bit different to you, is this little dot right here, and that's a decimal point, okay? So let's go ahead and take this number and put it into our place value chart so we can understand what the values of these numbers really are, okay? So any number that is here to the left of the decimal point is a whole number, okay? Anything to the right such as the tenths place or the hundredths place is going to be part of a whole, okay? So we know that the two here is gonna be a whole number, okay? And it's gonna fit right in here in the ones place. So I'm gonna have two ones, okay? And then this is not necessarily a, a place value here. It just is a, it's a place kind of holder for that decimal point, okay? So we have this decimal point. And then I have a four to the right of that decimal point. And I know that that's gonna fit in the tenths place. So this isn't a four, it's four tenths, okay? And so the next number, okay, after the four is an eight. So I know that eight is gonna go in the hundredths place. So the value of this digit is not eight, it's the value is eight hundredths. And remember, this, these numbers over here are part of a whole, so they are smaller than a whole, okay? So, let's work on how you would say this number out loud or write it in word form, okay? So first I'm gonna start with my whole number, which is two, okay? And then anytime you see a decimal point, you're gonna write the word and, okay? And that's important, okay? And then what you're gonna do next is you're just gonna say this number after the decimal, okay? And we know that number to be 48, okay? Now we also know that this eight right here ends in the hundredths place, okay? So we're gonna end our number with the word hundredths. And notice how I didn't say hundreds, I said hundredth. It said it has this th at the end, and that's important because there is a big difference between an eight in the hundredths place and an eight in the hundredths place, okay? So let's go ahead and look at a number, and we're gonna put it in um, our place value chart. So our first number is, it has this point and it has a six. Okay, and we know that point is a decimal point, okay? So it's to the right of the decimal, so I know this isn't just six holes. So let's use our place value chart to help us. So I've got my decimal point here, and I'm gonna put my six in the next spot, okay? So this tells me that this number is six tenths, okay? And that's how I would say it, and that's how I would write it. Okay, I wouldn't say and six tenths, I would just say six tenths, okay? When someone says six tenths, they could be saying it in decimal form or they could be saying it in fraction form, okay? Now, let's go ahead and look at what six tenths would look like if we were to use this grid, okay? If I fill up this entire grid, it would be one whole. But we know we don't have one whole because I don't have anything in my ones place. So I'm gonna go ahead and color in six tenths, three, four, five, six, okay? So I can see that I have filled up a little bit more than half of my grid. I haven't filled up the whole grid, but a little bit more than half of that grid, okay? 
I can also do the same thing with my hundreds grid here and see what that would be in um, with, a, with a denominator of 100. So again, I'm going to fill it 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And I know I filled out 6 tens, but if I counted all of these little boxes, I would have 60 hundreds. So I know that 6 tenths here in decimal form is equal to 6 tenths in fraction form, as well as 60 hundredths. So let's go ahead and look at what that might look like on a number line, okay? Just to help us out a little bit more. Again, I can see up here that this number line is already broken up into 10 places. I have five tenths here in the middle, and so I know just one more is gonna give me my six tenths, okay? And I know if I look here and I compare these number lines, this is gonna be my six tenths, and they are equal, okay? All right, we're gonna switch gears just a little bit. And this time, we're gonna start with a fraction. And so our fraction that we're gonna start with is 35 hundredths, okay? So how could we put this into a place value chart? Well. I know it's a fraction, so we're not gonna necessarily have a whole number here. And since I said 35 and I have this hundreds here, I know it's gonna end in this um, place value. So I'm gonna put 35 hundredths, okay? All right, and I can color in my boxes here to compare. So I know it's, it has three tenths shaded in, and then it has five, one, two, three, four, five. So this is what 35 hundredths would look like, okay, if I were to color it in. I could also use a um, number line to help me as well. Now this number line down here on the bottom is already broken up into a hundred um, spaces here. And so in order to find that on a number line, I would count up by my tens and then by my fives to figure out where 35 hundredths would be, okay? So 10, 20, 30, be about right there okay so I could label it as 35 hundredths or I could label it as this 35 hundredths so as you begin to work with decimals and fractions think about how you can use place value charts drawings as well as number lines to help you